We leave you now with the remarkable technology that has allowed a man who was paralyzed more than a decade ago to get back on his feet. CTV's John Venavelli Rao on what's being considered a potential breakthrough. Twelve years ago, Dutch resident Hurt Van Oskam got into a cycling accident that broke his neck and damaged his spinal cord. So I'm not able to move my legs anymore. But in a big step towards helping those who've been paralyzed, here is Oskam back on his feet. Standing tall, and while it's slow going, able to move on his own with just a walker. A remarkable sight. Oscam had surgery two years ago, during which Swiss researchers implanted devices into his skull. When he thinks about moving his legs, they send a signal to a computer, which sends impulses to an implant in his spinal cord, prompting the legs to move. So between these two, there is communication, an electrical communication, a digital bridge that is then reactivated the legs. We are recording electrical signal generated by the brain, so we need to decode this signal. And for this, we use artificial intelligence that predict the thought of the patient. I only have to think about the movement and I can start and stop. The research builds on previous work that showed stimulating the lower spine with electrical impulses can help some of those who are paralyzed to walk or even cycle again. But those movements were often controlled externally by a button or tablet and seemed robotic. Using his mind, Oskem can walk on gravel and climb stairs. He's even regained some ability to move his legs without the device being on. Suggesting that this digital bridge also promote the growth of new nerve connections. And Oskem says it's enabled something he's long to do. I'm training 10 years to stand up with a friend having a beer. More trials are planned, with the researchers next wanting to see if they can restore hand and arm movements too. John Venavalli Rao, CTV News, Toronto.